living in the moment and the moment is the future. <laughs> Hey guys, Lucky here, back with another war recap. And this war is one of our midweek, middle, uh, mid sized 15 man war. And what I wanted to show you guys is we made a challenge to all of our players to try to incorporate bowlers into their clan castle in any and all of their attacks. Uh, because we have reason one of our new guys, not new guys, I keep saying that. One of our top guys just recently went up to Town Hall 10 and has maxed out his bowlers. Well, at least when he donates at least. And we wanted to have fun during our midweek wars and see if we can play around with a brand new troop in our clan. Alright, so let's get started with Zadok on number one. So Zadok is a... Uh, Max Town Hall 9, he just recently also went to Town Hall 10. And he's going to start out with a Queen Walk on the bottom of the base. And he's going to want to go from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And so the Queen starts to work her way around. Now taking on too many defenses at once. And then he drops his bowlers down at the 5 o'clock position with healers, like three healers on the bowlers to go up the other direction. And as you can see, the queen is clearing out the, uh, the bottom left section of the base while the bowlers are cleaning out the bottom right. And once he gets a good portion of the base bottom portion cleared out, he can break in through either with wall breakers and valkyries and send in the wizards and then let them gut the whole middle of the base with usually without any trouble and personally at town hall 9 this is one of my favorite type of uh, attacks to use uh, with bowlers if you have seven healers four on the archer queen and three on the bowlers now as you can see the healers on the right side have kind of split up because the bowlers kind of went off in one direction, but some of the Valkyries and some of the bowlers are both getting the benefit of the healers. And you can see the queen is still making her way around. She's doing just fine. Got a couple of Teslas and air defenses that he's got to worry about. Because when you do this type of attack, guys, you want to do your best to protect your healers. Because if you don't, this attack will be worthless, trust me. So he's just got that last Tesla. And that is a three star on the number one guy. That was a fun attack to watch. Nice job, Zadok. Alright, the next attack I want to show you guys is number four. Uh, Bobby takes on, also incorporating bolos into his attack. Now you can see on his uh, army composition, he uses the normal um, uh, healer giant uh, hog bowler attack, the HBH, uh, H, the H, the <laughs> I never get the acronym cor uh, correct, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Let's just watch it. So he drops it, all of his giants in one pack with the healers, four healers on the giant specifically, drops the wizards right behind to start clearing the junk buildings as a funnel, and then he wants to drop the the CC bowlers at this point, and then the rest of the wizards if he can, don't want to wait too long on that, otherwise the giants will be toast. He drops his king, his archer queen, and they're going straight in, so those CC troops are going to go down pretty quick. I drop that other poison to make sure they go down. Might be saving it for the Arctic Queen. So he drops his baby dragon to help with the outside of the buildings and finally drops his, uh, his bowlers down. But unfortunately, they're going to go for a walk without any protection. But uh, they're going to do quite.
quite a bit of damage even by themselves if you see guys the barbarian king pad and that whiz tower are all going down and he drops his hogs you usually want to save those hogs for the backside backside cleanup as soon as your HB As soon as your uh, your army goes through most of the portion of that base, because you want to kind of trickle your hogs, or if you have six of them, uh, just drop them on the last four or five defenses on the back side of the base to help clear that out. But he usually he, he has got no trouble right now. He's still got one poison spell that it, he didn't use. It might might have been better to use that beforehand, either on the Archer Queen or on the. Uh, the CC troops might have some uh, some more troops to help clean up the rest of the base, but it turned out pretty good in the end anyway. We'll speed this up and get that going. Good job, nice job, Bobby. Not bad for a first attempt. All right, next attack we're gonna show is Gandorian on number six, and he does the same thing with the twelve giants. A Baby Drag, four healers, eight wizards. So he's going to start the Baby Drag and the wizards on some of the outside buildings to get some of those trash buildings out of the way that they are unprotected. And then should be dropping his giants. Yeah, there we go. He's dropping the giants right at the bottom at 6 o'clock with the healers. And once some of those trash buildings get cleared out, guys, uh, go ahead and, if you plan to use a Valks, use Valks, but if not, uh, drop your bullish behind the Giants. And then everyone should start going into the core. You either want to bring a Jump Spell or a Quad Quake. Uh, Gandorian uh, opts to just let everyone just beat down the walls. The Giants are pretty tough, so they should be able to do just fine without that. So the main army is into the core and the boulders are just wrecking the entire place all over. You want to make sure you drop a heal and drop a worried spell to make sure all those expos, those teslas, they all go down. And then you save your hogs for uh, taking care of the outside defenses like he's doing right here. A few hogs per defense at any one time. And this is the tricky part about doing this type of attack is you want to make sure that you have enough hogs to take care of those little bit of defenses that are left. So you still got seven hogs and you the main army is not even on the right side of the base yet and you still got the whole Tesla farm, two archer towers, a sweeper, air defense, a, l a lot of defenses you still got to worry about. So he's holding on to those until those defenses are locked on to the main army and there he goes he start dropping in his hogs methodically taking out the rest of those buildings and he takes out one tesla two teslas he's got two healers locked onto the hogs so that's actually pretty good luck right there and that's not bad if you can get to uh Two healers onto the hogs and not as good as a heal spell so don't try thinking that you can actually do this on a regular basis healers on hogs first of all healers aren't fast enough as the hogs and if you get enough defenses that are shooting at the hogs healers aren't going to do anything same thing if you have three defenses or more than that locked into an archer queen Four healers sometimes might not do it, so you need a raid spell or activate the Arch Queen. So that's a nice attack by Gan. The next attack I'm going to show you is one of our Town Hall 8s, Queen Tina. Actually, she's a brand new uh, Town Hall 9 still, uh, still getting the Town Hall 9 strategy still going. But she takes the bowlers into a Goho attack into a really nice uh, spot. Uh, wait, no, that's not it. Uh, sorry. There we are. Into this, as you can see, this looks like a, a you know brand new, brand new town hall nine as well. If you know this type of base, 
it is a Town Hall 8 on its face. So he drops a hog, lures out the clan castle troops, anchors them with an archer, pulls the dragon. She drops a quad quake to open up a path to the core. Just standard Goho or Govaho type of uh, method of taking care of the CC troops first. His golem is going in. Barbarian King's locked on. That dragon's about to go down. She's still got eight wizards. As soon as that CC goes down, heroes are down. And drop the rest of the whiz. Oh, she drops her bolus first. Get those into the core. And then she starts trickling the hogs. She's, so she's, she's going to hold on to those wizards. <laughs> and then she starts to do a surgical hog method uh, going counterclockwise around the base as you normally would with any type of Goho attack. So if you're doing like a Go Baho, you're basically swapping out your Valkyries for bowlers. And I think you actually get more bang for your buck if you use bowlers instead of Valkyries. Not to say Valkyries aren't bad, they're great. But I think the bulls do much more damage. However, the Valkyries are faster and they are more tankier. So, pick your poison. Nine times out of ten, whichever you choose. You're, if you do it right, you should be able to three star any one of these types of bases as a town hall eight. So, that's just clean of time, and that is a nice attack by Queen Tina. Very nice job. All right, the next attack I want to show you is uh, my junior, my junior account, sort of lucky, uh, three-starring number eleven. The reason why I want to show you this is, sort of like it's a brand new town hall nine, doing a Govaho, Govaho bowler type of attack. But if you remember from Zadok's attack, where you brought seven healers, I brought seven healers as well, and so what I want to do out some of those trash buildings and I'm gonna come in at the right side with my Arja Queen and Barbarian King and I actually want to do a super Barbarian King walk on one side and then do a bowler walk on the other side and just have both of my heroes clean out the outside and then have my Valkyries just go straight into the core and just clean it right out. So I drop a jump spell. The rest of my wizards. Still got four healers on my Archer Queen. A healer on my last two bowlers. They're not going to last very long, but they're doing quite a bit of damage as they are. And my Valkyries are in the core. They're just messing things up. The wizards are helping clean out the rest that they can't reach. And then... As you can see on the back side, I drop my hogs to clean up the last few defenses. Under the protection of a heal spell. And that is that. And then it's just clean up. Easy peasy. So you can do that kind of uh, queen walk, bowler walk. Um, if you're a brand new Town Hall 9, use your Barbarian King as or if you wanted something else's tank here and you have that space use a golem but have your heroes you know do a walk on one side do your bowlers on another use seven healers three healers on the bowlers four on the heroes or four hopefully if you if your archer queen can take it do the archer queen first if you can afford to do the archer queen by herself that's great send the barbarian king in with the valkyries and have the barbarian king help get out the place Alright, last attack I want to show you is a Town Hall 7. Now you would think, don't we usually have Town Hall 7s do a Dragon attack or Dragloon attack? Well, the requirement was try to use bowlers in your attack. And she doesn't do uh, Princess Tina, this is Queen Tina's second account. She doesn't use dragons at all. She uses a Jai Barge with wizards and bowlers on this little baby Town Hall 7. 
And it is just fun to watch this. So, of course, she doesn't have any healers, but she does use uh, supplement with archers behind the barbarians. I'm sorry, uh, archers behind the the giants. Of course, she pulls the CC. She's going to deal with them separately. Surrounds the CC with the wizards. CC goes down. One more wizard. There you go. Then she just drops all the, uh, the uh, giants, pops open the wall with one wall breaker, tries to open up another one with another wall breaker. The archers are cleaning out some outside buildings. The Barbarian King goes into the core with a couple of more wall breakers to open up that inside wall. And so they're just taking their time cleaning out. Giants are doing their job, doing a nice tanking job. And then the bowlers get dropped. She can only hold three bowlers to help clean up the rest of that base. And this is just amusing to watch. Look at this on 2X. And it's just everything just gets, just gets messed up. This is ridiculous how much damage that just one hit with these bowlers can just mess up this town all seven, no problem. And everything just goes easily down. So that's it. That's awesome. So we have plenty of attacks, but we, if you've ever played bowling, guys, we bowled a perfect game. Look at that, 45 stars. That is an awesome job. We had a lot of fun doing that. Poor Dave was making so many boulders for us that uh, he had to go farm for more dark elixir. So again, we thank him for letting us use all of his boulders. Uh, so that's it for this war. We'll catch you next time, guys. Take care.